Exciting news! Quest number eight is live for Futureverse, but wanted to make a quick video because we got info that's coming out that you need to know about. So Carrie's asking when bulk bridging, because it's going to end up costing them hundreds of dollars to bridge one by one. And Captain McDonald responding saying, hey there, the quest only requires one seeker for now. And the first stage of the product will work with that since Future Past knows about seekers on both networks. Quest number eight, the update is unlocked. Initiate the Seeker Operating System 2.0 update to reveal your Seeker's unique power, classes, and attributes and move one step closer to putting your Seeker to work. To complete this quest, simply bridge a Seeker to the root network, then head over to Seekers.xyz and initiate the Seeker's OS 2.0 update. Looking at the FAQs before we go and bridge a Seeker, will I need gas for this quest? You will need a small amount of ETH to cover gas to bridge your Seeker. This is all going to be dependent on just the ETH uh, gas fee at the time, so be conscientious of that. You don't need to do it immediately. If I bridge and update multiple Seekers, does my quest reward increase? No. And the next point here is saying is if you sell your Seeker, assuming on the Mark Marketplace, will I still receive the quest reward? And you will once updated a quest. Yes, once updated updated a seeker cannot be used again to complete the quest if an updated seeker is transferred the wallet that originally completed the update will be rewarded for the quest so i guess that's just basically saying you're not going to complete the quest if you buy a seeker that's already bridged and it does mean that you need to bridge from eth or a seeker from eth to be able to earn on this quest and finally i updated my seeker before the quest started uh was announced will it still count and yes and I didn't know you could even update your seeker, so I learned something new today. So all you have to do is open your future pass, go down to future score, click over to quests, come down here and click bridge a seeker. You'll scroll until you run into your seekers, and then there'll be the bridge button, so you'll just click that and approve it. For this particular one, it's going to cost $7. Holy sheesh, that's a Big Mac. And once it's approved, you'll then have to click bridge asset. And so there's going to be another gas fee here. And this is why we're doing stuff that's not on Ethereum. This one is going to cost $16.55. So in total, like $30 to move a single asset. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's go root, baby. And then you'll have a countdown timer like this. And we'll be back once it is good and sent. This is what it'll look like. Update your seeker. Update your seeker to unleash their full potential. Explore their power and classes and dive into a world of endless possibilities. Uh, coming soon, put your seeker to work and stake it to support the seeker network and improve an open and connected metaverse. With your seeker working hard for you, they're rewarded with the silo token and additional utility. Uh, and coming soon, set up a seeker node. Ooh. Soon you'll be able to set up your seeker node, recruit your friends, stake their seeker to it, and support an open, inclusive metaverse. Okay. So one thing to note is I was looking at my uh, future pass dashboard, and it didn't show that this was on route. So if you look in your future pass and it's not showing it's on there, just check the site and it'll show. Them. So we'll click ready to update. And boom, 24 power. This thing is good at actor. Yeah, we're in, you know, we're good at acting, baby. Let's go. And for seeker classes, my thing doesn't say that it's got an active class that might show up later, or it's only on specific ones. From map making masters to brave and bold defenders, each class of seeker presents unique challenges for you to conquer. What is your seeker's calling? Note, if your seeker doesn't receive a class after an update, it's likely because it doesn't have enough parts to achieve a specific class. However, don't worry, you'll have the opportunity to modify or add parts at a later date to ensure your seeker receives a class. And there's a couple different classes within here. We're not going to go through all of this right now. Um, and then there's different standards and tiers for that. But it'll be interesting to see how things go with the Seekers. And it does look like the staking is coming soon. But I hope you guys enjoy that video. Be sure to tune into XFeed where I go live every single day talking about the crazy happenings of Web3. Have a great day and let's go Seekers Squad.